I live in Orlando and I make all shop with me videos at like Target, Home Goods, Walmart, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, World Market, Kirkland's. I'll do like craft stores. It kind of just depends. I love to shop mostly for home decor, but all around all of our favorite stores so that you know what to look for next time you go out shopping. I want you guys to be as informed as possible about like sales, new items so that you can get in, get out, get what you need, and just have a great shopping experience every time you go out to the stores. So if you love shopping videos, seeing what's new at the stores, or home decor, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you are a Katie Vining veteran, then you will probably be asking yourself by this point, why does she sound so weird? To be honest, I don't know what's going on with my voice. It's kind of been going in and out for the last few days. It's not like I've been like talking a lot extra or like going to the theme parks and like screaming on roller coasters or any of like the normal things that I would think like, oh, maybe that's like why my voice sounds a little bit weird. I don't know, it's just sounding a little bit coarse and dry. I feel completely fine. My voice is just a little bit weak. But also, if you're a Katie Vining veteran, that you will know that Tuesdays can only mean one thing here on my channel. Today is Target Tuesday. Definitely my favorite video of the week. My favorite video to film Target Tuesday is my baby. I'm so protective over it. And so glad that you guys love Target Tuesday. If you don't know what Target Tuesday is, we are going to shop all around the store. I'm going to show you everything that is new. In today's video, we're going to be specifically looking for the Hearth and Hand Fall Collection. They have a beautiful new fall collection launching on August 1st. I can't wait for you guys to see it. You guys are going to absolutely love it, and I'm dying to head into the store and see if we can get our hands on some. Also gonna be searching for more new items from the Studio McGee Fall Collection and anything else new around the store that I think that you guys would love to see. That is what we are gonna be shopping for today. So if you are excited for Target Tuesday and seeing what is up, what's new in the store, the new Hearth and Hand Collection and anything else new we can find, make sure you keep watching because we're gonna head inside right now. Oh my God. We have a fall item, a Halloween item. Oh my God, everybody stay calm. This is a hanging sign and it just comes with different designs. So you can do like a pumpkin face or you can do hashtag give thanks or hello fall. Oh my gosh, everybody stay calm. Here is another set. They have trick or treat, leaves, a pumpkin or fall. And you can just like paint it or color them with Sharpie for $3. This is honestly such a good little craft idea. And you could do it on the black side with like a white paint or another colored paint. You could do this as like a double side sign what a fun craft then there is this one that is more rectangular and it says farm fresh pumpkins a three pumpkin design one that says stay spooky or a little witch hat again any of these could be used double-sided such a fun activity and I love that it comes with the stencils oh my gosh this like jungle opal house section none of the targets I typically shop at have it set up like this and they have so much stuff like I haven't even seen yet like this pillow is really pretty fall colors really really like this one and then it's just like green on the back then they have this black and white one or like black and white and then like taupe and then green one oh my gosh it's like set up so different oh my gosh artwork wait a second <laughs> this is all like new stuff to me I have not seen like this big of a setup for this collection so that's pretty fun they have these really pretty like art prints and stuff these are $28 a piece this bathroom stuff we did see last week, but what is this? So this bath rug, it says it's a bath rug, is like kind of like attached in the middle so I can't make it go straight without ripping the tag off. I don't want to do that, but I really like this. I think it'd be a really nice welcome mat as well. Definitely doesn't have to be a bath mat. It's like not a traditional bath mat at all, but I love that. Even more like art prints. This one is 50. I'm super impressed. Oh my gosh, I didn't know like they had setups like this because mine doesn't have that. Okay, that's way too easy to get distracted by. So we're gonna head over to the rest of the home decor section. I'm just so surprised I never ever shop at this Target. Even though it is pretty close, I just like don't come this way very often. 
but yeah it's really cool to see like another target this is a super target as well but it's just interesting how different the displays are and like all the setups and everything there are actually a few new items that we have not seen yet so i'm so excited to finally be able to show you these studio mcgee items i just like haven't found them in the store until now so let's go over a few more of the new studio mcgee fall items they literally have so many of this new like decorative marble arch this is gonna be well first of all it's like a million pounds but it's one of those items again that it's gonna vary by like the look because it is like a natural material so if you want it to look a certain way you definitely have to come shop in the store like here's a very stark difference this one has a lot more like grays in it this one's a lot more like pure white and just like lighter tones so there's definitely like a lot of different like variances that you can get with this this one's more gray like overall but depending on what you want they have like a lot of different options if you can find them in store they also are like kind of like sparkly I don't know if my camera is gonna pick that up um, but it is like kind of sparkly it's really pretty this is kind of expensive it's $30 it is real marble it's super heavy solid marble so the price kind of makes sense I haven't seen this yet so I'm kind of intrigued trying to decide if I want to buy it here is another item that I don't think I've highlighted on here yet the classic studio McGee like wooden stuff they've even like restocked the bowls which is great this is $35 just a fake fern in a pretty classic studio McGee wooden vase this new basket definitely woven a bit different than the ones that they have done in the past I do have one of these from the spring collection but the basket is different as well as the leaves this is just another little like hanging woven basket you could use this as like wall decor or if you have like um, a mud room that has like hooks or any decoration that has hooks you could hook this onto one and that would be really pretty this is $25 and the leaves are really pretty they look honestly pretty real and I really like the style of the woven base it's different than what they've been doing more recently so I really like it over in the hearth and hand section now as you can see behind me and there are so many new hearth and hand fall items and they have a lot of them here in store we're gonna go over everything I'll try to tell you the prices of as many things as I can find the prices of but I'm really excited I think that you guys are gonna love this new collection <laughs> I'm in trouble like I said in a previous video the style has kind of changed a lot I feel like they're just going more towards like the farmhemian look, like more naturals, less things with like printed words and more like, I don't know, like wood tones and things like that. And I feel like you guys are gonna really like it. You could use it for a lot of different decor styles and I'll try to give you guys as many ideas of things that you could do with these different items as I can think of. I should have brought my water into the store because I don't know why my voice just like doesn't want to work. Cue all the comments of people being like, stop talking. You wouldn't believe how many of those comments I get. Like, what? This is my channel. I'm here to talk. Okay, so here is this really pretty display that they have set up. I have not seen anything displayed like this before at any of the targets I normally shop at, I should say. But look at all this pretty stuff. So they have these new mango bowls. Great size, like salad bowls, also like fruit bowls. The big one is $24.99. And then they do have a smaller sized one as well that is $19.99. They do have more of like a pedestal version. This would be perfect for like fruit or you could also do like little decorative um, potpourri or little pumpkins for the fall or even like ornaments for the winter. There's a lot of different things you could do with this, but it would make a really beautiful fruit bowl as well. And I just love the little pedestal and it also has this lip right here that is just really, really a nice touch. It feels super sturdy and solid. And this is $24.99. I will say all of this new stuff is quite red. It's like a lot deeper than the stuff that they were doing before there's like a great comparison of these like woven coasters that they have and also little like napkin rings I have these coasters so just kind of give you an idea as well as like these are some of their older chairs so it's definitely a totally different shade of wood a lot nicer for the fall I think because it's like a rich red and like deeper browns so that is like the difference that they have going on there another new item is this paper towel holder I really like it I just like how simple it is with like the ceramic base this is $16.99 and right next to that is the same shade of wood in a little like cake stand this is $19.99 just a perfect little pedestal cake stand could be used for like any sort of dessert or just for decor you don't even have to do food then down here they have this like tiny adorable little cake stand I feel like it'd be good for like cupcakes or cookies it doesn't have a pedestal or anything but it does come with like a beautiful glass top like I said it is on the smaller side and this is $20 
Moving over, they do have another like tiered stand or cake stand. This one is ceramic. This one is $19.99 and would be good for any season or any style. So these are not attached. They just like kind of have them stacked on top of each other. These are two items we have already seen. This is a very popular item. This is a mug tree. So you can put different like mugs on it. They sell tons of cute mugs here at Target. You could also do like Ray Dunn mugs or Disney mugs or the Starbucks You Are Here mugs. Those are really popular as well. This is $19.99. Perfectly matches the other wood tone that they are coming out with for the fall. But would also look good with like varying tones of like wood or black. They have these beautiful little cheese trays that come with really, really nice like cutting tools and a little cutting board. This would make a great housewarming gift for anyone that is like moving or if you're just looking to give a gift to someone things like these are always so good to have and that's just a really nice set they also have these really pretty cutting boards very different wood tones here much more cool toned and warm toned on that one so definitely with the wood tones you're going to want to try to shop them in store or potentially order like more than one off the website if you really really are like nitpicky about stuff like that they also have this like giant cutting board that is on a Lazy Susan, does have a little hole handle up at the top and that is super nice. I also like the two-tone, how it's like diagonally cut on purpose. I just really like the look of it. Definitely gives it some more dimension. Or if you're doing like a cheese board, you could do like all the cheeses and like meats and stuff over here. And then if you like to do like compotes or like honeys and stuff, you could put them on this side. Just an idea. This is actually not on a Lazy Susan. It actually just like was spinning really, really well on the other one. This is $34.99. And it does come in a smaller version, much smaller diameter. This one is 18 inches in diameter. And then the smaller one in my hand is only 13 inches in diameter. And this one is $20. And then I know I didn't mention it before, but this longer one is also $20. I really like this sink caddy. They have these really, really beautiful brushes right here, like little dishwashing brushes. They have this one with a handle and then that one as well. But like, look how nice this is. This is $4.99. Then like I said, they have the sink caddy, which would be like perfect for like other sponges or your dish soaps, hand soaps on this part. And then any tools that you have in here. If you're weird like me, you could put your little um, straw cleaners in here. I have tons of sizes of straw cleaners. And this dish, this little dish soap caddy is $14.99. Like I said, this is $4.99. And then they have one that doesn't have a handle. You just kind of like hold it like this. And this one is also $4.99. Here is a new wall shelf. It is like a really pretty like whitewashed, cool toned wood and just has this black hardware on it. Super nice and sleek black hardware. This wall shelf is $34.99 and they of course sell so many cute things here that you could use to decorate this. Here they have these hook rails. You do get four hooks and it's like a really similar like whitewashed wood color. So earlier how I mentioned the Studio McGee hanging basket, something like this would be perfect to hang this off of and it would just add like more colors, more texture and I just think that this would be really pretty plus the pegs are like a decently long size so I think it would fit really nicely. This hook rail is a great price too, it's only $12.99. If you don't want a hook rail set, they also do sell them individually as wall hooks and they are $4.99 a piece. These are great for like a bathroom. If you want to do like decorative towels or have like a nice place to hang your towels, those would be perfect for that and they're a really good price. Matching the other wood stuff we saw before, they have this utensil caddy. So many different things you could do with this. You guys already know you could put like coasters, you could do remotes, you could put like a candlestick lighter if you want to use this as a caddy like on a kitchen island or a coffee table. And then of course you could do like napkins and then like fork spoons and knives if you truly want to use it as a utensil caddy this is again super smooth feels really solid good quality wood and this is twenty dollars they do have a picture on the inside of it kind of set up with some of their napkins and their cutlery but there's a lot you could do with that here is a beautiful cookbook holder it is collapsible so you could easily like collapse it down and keep it in a drawer if you don't want to keep your cookbook out like all the time as decor and you really just want to use it like for what it is this is twenty dollars it is super nice quality again super sturdy nice and smooth they have a lot of them here which I'm surprised to see I have never seen this before so it is definitely new to me and I highly recommend this item there is one coming out from Studio McGee as well so we're gonna keep searching for that one of course you know I'm gonna show you everything new that I can find but I hadn't seen this yet and it's super nice so I definitely wanted to show it to you they have a bunch of different sizes of these picture frames this smaller sized one is $12.99 just a really really simple picture frame with white matting like I said, they do have it in a bunch of different sizes. This even smaller one is $10. And then the biggest one is 
dollars honestly unless you really care about the name i don't think that these are worth the price tag they don't feel like super sturdy they feel kind of flimsy and cheap if i'm being honest so i would not recommend these of course i will try to have as much stuff as i possibly can linked down below for you guys i'm sorry i know i haven't been the most consistent with linking stuff i'm still trying to get settled into my new like filming and working schedule and i'm so close to being like totally settled in last week was my first like full week of following my new schedule and i was so tired by friday but it was so nice to be completely off on saturday and sunday and not have to like film or edit anything so that was super nice but yeah bear with me i will have everything linked down below i, I promise i'm gonna get better at like doing all the links and everything it's just like that last final step that sometimes i just don't get to it before the video comes out or sometimes i forget so i am really sorry about that i promise i will start to be more consistent with doing that so definitely check below for links for anything you're looking for and if something isn't linked down below you can definitely feel free to leave me a comment and i will grab the link for you as fast as i can i decided to come just looking like the regular kitchen aisle and I'm finding a lot of things I didn't even know they had or things I've never seen before. So this is the Threshold brand and they have this like modern line. It's just black wood. They have a cake stand for $25. They also have this like modern serve tray for $25. This is really, really awesome. I love this. This would be like perfect for Halloween decorating as well. They have this like modern serve board. It just has like a little handle. Maybe something's missing from right here. They have this modern utensil set modern coasters like it's just this whole line and then they have these bowls large serve bowl and then a smaller serve bowl medium is missing large is 30 small is 20 medium would be 25 but they kind of have that going for like a lot of different types of wood like similar items but just like different like colors and stuff and then they also have this like marble one that has wood that's really pretty that has this like tiny little cutting board bigger cutting board cake stand there's just so many cool items. Like look at this like serve board that has little like risers on it. Really pretty wood grain as well. Definitely make sure you're checking out like the other kitchen parts and like not just the Studio McGee and like hearth and hand sections. It is just very easy to get stuck in those sections. I know I do too because I have like really bad shiny object syndrome brian loves to say that all the time so i just like will always look there for new stuff and then i don't think to like look in these aisles as often so i'm sorry about that i'm just like apologizing for everything in this video but definitely don't just get stuck in those sections because they're constantly putting out new stuff all over the store so i just like randomly found this in my travels but this would be the perfect umbrella to take to the theme parks because it's nice and compact and it has pineapples on it we're gonna give this a scan and see how much it is. All right, let's give this little cutie a scan. I'm thinking like 10, oh, it has a price tag on it that says $14.99. It has little pineapples all over it. I love this. I also just found this dress that I think is really pretty. It's like a midi length, it has pockets. It is also like ruched right here and has puff sleeves, which I love. This dress is so pretty. This is the only one they have and it's a size extra small, so that ain't gonna work for me, but oh my gosh, I wish they had my size. Alrighty, you guys, well that is gonna be it for me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this week's Target Tuesday, seeing all of the beautiful new stuff in the Hearth and Hand collection. There is definitely gonna be more to come. It's impossible to find it all in one week in one video, so definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of the new Hearth and Hand stuff that I show in my upcoming videos. I do put out four videos a week, so if you want to be notified every single time I put out a video on Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, then you'll definitely want to make sure to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. Today's questions with Katie video is coming from YouTube from B Parker. She said, love your channel, Katie. Thank you so much. That means everything to me. How and why did it come about you doing YouTube? So glad that you do. Thank you so much. That is seriously so sweet. I could definitely get long-winded with this answer. YouTube has always been like my preferred version of entertainment. I watch YouTube almost every second of every day that I have for free time. I'm always watching YouTube. I love to rewatch videos that I love from creators that I love to watch, and I'm just obsessed with it. I always have been. I still watch some people that I used to watch when I was in middle school and high school, and they were also in middle school and high school. I just feel like we've grown up together now. Some of them are married with kids. I just love it so much. I've always been such a big fan of YouTube, and I have always dreamed about starting a channel. Funny story, I actually bought a camcorder, like an old-fashioned camcorder when I was in high school, point-and-shoot cameras like we have now. 
now like weren't really a big thing so for video recording a lot of people would use camcorders so I actually did buy a camcorder I saved my money I've been working since I was like literally 15 I saved my money and I bought an open box camcorder from Best Buy I happened to find the camera I wanted open box it was a great deal I bought it and then I chickened out and decided not to start a YouTube channel and I returned the camera but I've just always dreamed about starting a channel like I said YouTube is just definitely my preferred like content and entertainment to watch I just love it so much like more than TVs and movies but the whole reason I got started can pretty much boil down to two friends that I met I was a manager at Disney at the time and I saw these two people vlogging at the bar of the restaurant I was working at I went up to them I introduced myself and I was like are you guys vlogging that's so amazing I've always wanted to start a channel what's your channel I'd love to watch you and they are now two of my very best friends and if you've been here for a long time then you definitely will know I'm talking about Peter and Sarah from the Burkhart Project they do Disney vlogs so if you like Disney content I will be sure to link them down below for you guys um, they did just move back to Chicago so there's a lot of Chicago content so if you're interested in any of that I will have it linked down below they definitely inspired me to start my channel they showed me that it was just like it was feasible starting a YouTube channel seems like so like unfathomable like it's not attainable they just showed me that it was all of those things and more and how like I could actually do it so they were the ones that gave me the encouragement and the push to finally start my channel so if you didn't know I used to do Disney vlogs that's how I started my channel and I would do like a lot more lifestyle stuff I showed a lot of my life and then a lot of that kind of came crashing down around me and I decided to quit YouTube also it was kind of becoming a conflict of interest with my job at Disney I had a lot of people coming in and asking for me and like looking for me at work because they found out where I worked and it kind of became a huge issue a privacy issue so I decided to quit my channel which was really Really hard and sad but at the time I knew I would choose my job at Disney over anything else so it's really funny how things change because now I chose this over my job at Disney so like I said I did quit my channel and then the pandemic happened and like you know years had passed since I had been vlogging before I took a couple years off the pandemic happened and the pandemic started in March and in September I was kind of like oh I kind of want to like pick up my camera again like I think it would be really fun like it would give me something to do so I picked up my camera again and the rest was history I did I think maybe like one or two target videos mixed in with like a Trader Joe's video and other like lifestyle type vlog videos and I just like really realized how much I loved shopping at the favorite stores and then also with the pandemic a lot of people couldn't go out to the store so I was kind of like their eyes and I still do serve as that role for many people who have like disabilities or aren't able to get out to the stores because they have children it's just not as easy for them and it just is so special to me that like something that I, I just never thought it was gonna turn into this so that's how I got into it and I'm so glad that I'm here and so thankful to every single one of you guys that's watching I, I don't know I'm just so thankful like that I can be here and you guys love watching all of this because I am so passionate about going to the stores I never get sick of going to the stores I could literally go to Target every single day I actually do go to Target every single day but yeah that's how I got into it and why I do it and I'm just so glad to have you guys all here with me it seriously means the world to me so thank you so much to B Parker for asking that question if you want to be featured in an upcoming questions with Katie video please make sure to leave me a question down below and I would love to answer that for you in an upcoming segment but thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much and I'll see you next time bye guys